12 minutes past 10, which means it's uh, just a few minutes since the polls closed in the constituency of Staffordshire South. The general election vote there had to be rescheduled following the death of the Liberal Democrat candidate Joe Harrison shortly before polling day on May the 5th. Eight candidates now wait to hear the result later tonight. Our political correspondent Rita Chakrabarty is there for us. Uh, and it doesn't look behind you, Rita, as if they've got any uh, ballot papers to count just yet. In fact, Jane, they just have the ballot boxes <laughs> and the ballot papers have just come in and they've just started counting. They've actually got a reinforced number of counters here, so they're fairly confident of making their declaration time, their original declara declaration time of around 2.30 fairly comfortably. We may even have a result slightly before that. Now, the very initial uh, figures on the turnout are, look as if they're fairly low. Apparently, uh, the turnout was very quiet during the afternoon, and quite a few people came out just after that tremendous victory by Andy Murray at Wimbledon. <laughs> Nonetheless, what the agents are saying, certainly tentatively and initially, it looks as if turnout could be possibly as low as 35%, maybe even 30%. And that would be quite a bit lower uh, than anything we saw on May the 5th. Indeed. Uh, oh, yes. Finally, there's ballot papers arriving behind you there. What are, uh, what are the key things we should be looking out for, uh, Rita? Well, I think we're going to have to see exactly what, um, what the turnout is. Um, it is, of course, an extremely strange situation, this. It's a delayed poll, remember. It's not, uh, it's not a by-election. This is the very final stage of the general election. Um, and so there's been a very different atmosphere here, I think, to what you would normally find in a by-election. We did a very unscientific... Uh, Draw poll a little earlier, talk to a few people uh, round and about. And I wouldn't say that people were apathetic as such, but they all said, look, the general election result is done. Uh, we all know who's prime minister. What really was the point of coming out and voting? So I think, you know, if turnout is as low as we think it is, uh, presumably that will partly be why. But we'll also be looking to see, of course, who wins, uh, by what margin, um, and how well, for example, uh, one of the smaller parties like UKIP, do. Uh, UKIP in the last general election uh, polled just about 1,500 votes, but in last year's European election, uh, they scored 26% of the vote in this uh, European region. However, that is under a different electoral system, under proportional representation, so it's not really fair to compare like with like, but they are ones to watch. All right, Rita. Well, a bit of coffee for you now. I think uh, the result live, of course, here on News 24. Thanks very much for now, Rita Chakrabarty in Staffordshire South. That results 2, 2.30, something like that, as Rita was saying. With a delayed election. So easy to call it a by-election, isn't it? It is. But it isn't. It is, though. <laughs> Quarter past ten. Here at